what's up? It's Amy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be ranking Hannah Montana characters from best to worst. Let's go. So in front of me, I do have my laptop where the template is for the Hannah Montana characters where I will be ranking them. And Hannah Montana was the pinnacle of my childhood. So I am taking this very seriously. I have written down notes as to why they deserve to be in each space that they are. Let's get into characters. So we are ranking Oliver, Jake, Rico, Miley, Lola, Miley's mum, for some reason, is in there. Jackson, Jesse, Amber, Ashley, Dolly, like Aunt Dolly, Cousin Luann, Uncle Earl, Mike Stanley, Cooper, Roxy, Mima, Robbie Ray, Michaela, Sienna, Tracy, Joni, Sarah, and Hannah. So we have got quite a lot to go through. So the tiers that I've made are best being, I might even be a rock star. <laughs> to one up on the annoying scale to everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. And then you've got another one up to kind of like annoying sometimes, but they kind of pull it back on me and I like them kind of. That's sweet niblets. Sweet niblets. Sweet naughty niblets. A sweet niblet. Sweet niblets. Sweet niblets. A sweet niblets. And then you've got Miley like a puma which is a character that I quite happily fight in a ring. And then you've got the last one, which is top, like, can't stand this character, and that is You'll End Up With Fleas. Fleet if ready kiss tonight, I'm lying down with the dog. So, first of all, we do have Oliver Oaken. I am going to straight away put Oliver Oaken into I Might Even Be A Rockstar, and the reason for that is I had the biggest crush on Oliver Oaken when I was little, and that's pretty much it. Well, he's a good friend for a start, except from the time he went on America's, is it like their version of America's Got Talent or something, and he wanted to be a singer, and he wasn't actually that good, and he basically forced Hannah Montana to vote him in. Not a good friend, but apart from that, solid as a rock, so he is a rock star. Next one, we have got Jake. Jake, I'm gonna put him into Everybody Makes Mistakes. And the reason why I'm doing that is because when he first came on the show, he was an arrogant little f Like, I hated him. He was a jerk. But when he started going out with Miley, he didn't want to date Hannah Montana. He wanted to date Miley Stewart. And the romantic in me is giving him a chance. So he is in Everybody Makes Mistakes. I quite like Jake. I'm not going to lie to you. So next we have Rui. So Rico, I was gonna put you'll end up with fleas, but actually I'm going to put Miley like a puma because I still want to slap the little bitch in the face, but he did make me want empanadas. So for that reason alone, he is going to Miley as a puma. Okay, so next one is Miley Stewart herself. And I have put her, and you'd probably think I'd put her on Rockstar, but I'm actually putting her on Everybody Makes Mistakes. And the reason for that is there are some times where she was like a questionable friend, like, does she like me, does she not like me? I reckon in real life as well, Miley Stewart would be like the bitchy girl in school, do you know what I mean? Like, you'd be friends with her, but you wouldn't know if she bitched about you behind your back. And I don't stand by that. So, I was gonna put her in Sweet Niblets, but also she is a secret pop star. And I mean, if you were really good friends with her and she was like, I'm secretly Hannah Montana, I mean, how cool would that be? So, I'm not gonna put her for Am I a Rock? Uh, I might even be a rock star. I'm putting her for Everybody Makes Mistakes. So, next we have Lola, and I assume you're watching this because you watch Hannah Montana. So, you know that Lola is really Lily, who is Miley's best friend, but she also has disguised when she figured out that her best friend was Hannah Montana, she wanted to disguise as well, so this is Lola. And I'm actually putting Lola in sweet niblets, you know, just because I like a bit of weirdness, right? I'm a weirdo, but this is on a whole new level. Like, she embarrassed Hannah on some things. She ran into a party screaming Orlando Bloom in a celebrity party. I couldn't deal with that. So she is going to sweet niblets. I haven't really seen many good qualities about Lola. So next we have her older ego, Lily Truscott. Now, now I'm putting Lily into a rock star uh, for the simple fact that she didn't out the secret that she is Hannah Montana. So that is a good friend right there. You want her as your friend. So the next one is a bit of a weird one. I'm not quite sure where they have this here. And it's Miley's mum. Mom. <laughs> Miley's mom. <laughs> Miley's mum. Now, I mean, I'm putting her as a rock star purely for the fact her character is dead in the show and you can't speak ill of the dead. So 
She is an angel. She is a godsend. She is a rock star. We are quickly moving on. There's nothing more to say about that. Jackson. Now I'm putting Jackson as I might even be a rock star. Now I love Jackson so much. He is the best character on Hannah Montana by far. You can't even change my mind. Don't even try. He is the best. He makes you laugh. He doesn't make you cry to be fair, but he makes you laugh. He is like the perfect level of stupid. And I also secretly had a crush on Jackson when I was little, so moving on. Jesse. Okay, first one up to your end up with fleas is Jesse. I did not understand why everybody found Jesse hot. Therefore, his actions were even more annoying to me. I didn't really see a romantic side, nor did I feel a chemistry between him and Hannah. I am at Team Jake all the way. Next one we have Amber. And I'm actually going to class Amber and Ashley together because they're pretty much the same person. So I'm putting both Amber and Ashley up to like a Puma. I was going to put them with end up with fleas because they are high school bullies and no one likes them. And they were really mean to Miley and Lily, like uncalled for me. And the fact that they set up that, can you remember they set up that tier list, that popular tier list and poor Dandruff Danny was like the bottom of the pyramid. But also the reason why I've put them one under you'll end up with fleas is because they did that iconic ooh thing that me and my friends did the whole time. I have to thank them for that and therefore they will be going to Miley like a puma. Okay, so the next one is Aunt Dolly. Um, Aunt Dolly, I found her really immature actually. And the whole fight with Mama about being the best influence on the kids or something. So again, I'm at classing Aunt Dolly and Mama into sweet niblets because they have their heart in the right place. We're blitzing this. Okay, so the next one we have is a Cousin Luan. Now, Cousin Luan was in one episode, but I do remember it quite well. And she wasn't the nicest, she was also quite annoying. So I'm gonna put her straight up with Jessie with you'll end up with fleas quite happily got no emotional connection to her i don't care so next is uncle earl now uncle earl is going straight in to i might even be a rock star and the reason for that is because he is the cutest man i have ever seen in my life miley and robbie ray used to make fun of uncle earl about his weight and about about how dorky he is his dream was to be a rock star and miley made that happen for him he performed on stage god i love uncle earl so uncle earl is a rock star he is a babe he is a gem and that's where he's staying okay so the next is mike stanley now mike stanley is the alter ego to Oliver Oaken. Again, he knows Hannah's secret and also has a secret alias. I don't really have too much opinion on Mike Stanley. I mean, Oliver is where it was at. But I did, I'm just looking at my notes, I did put him as everybody makes mistakes. The next we have Cooper. Now, I don't really care for Cooper, I'm not gonna lie. So as irrelevant as he may be, I will put him at everybody makes mistakes. Next we have Roxy. I love Roxy. I find her so funny. The, the bit that I found weird, when they were in the lounge and it was night time, she slept in between the kids. Now at this point she didn't know the kids that well and I found that a bit strange. So although she's hilarious, she is going on everybody makes mistakes because her heart again is in the right place. She is hilarious. found it a bit weird that she slept in between two kids that she didn't really know. So the next person we're gonna judge essentially is Robbie Way. Robbie Way? Robbie Ray Stewart. Of all of the costumes and the disguises that they had, his, he was shortcut. Somebody in the production department hated this guy and thought that a tiny moustache would disguise him from being the famous country star Robbie Ray Stewart. But nevertheless, I am putting him in Everybody Makes Mistakes because he is a good songwriter he is a good dad i think he does favor miley over jackson and jackson like i keep saying is a babe michaela i'm putting at sweet niblets i'd quite like a good argument with michaela i reckon we could argue quite well and also i don't know if you noticed but they didn't actually use selena the voice in the show when she was playing michaela it's like somebody else's completely different voice i reckon with the voice that they put in Hannah Montana, I could probably beat her in a singing contest and I can't sing. And next we have Sienna. I'm gonna put her all the way up to Miley like a puma because it, in the show she irked me and I don't know if it's because she played Jackson's girlfriend, which I was very annoyed about because he was mine. So if she's going to Miley like a puma, I'd quite like to smack her in the face. Okay, next we have Tracy. I'm putting Tracy all the way up to a you'll end up with fleas because she's not actually that nice to Hannah Montana. 
nor is she that nice to Lola and even though I'm not really keen on Lola I think she used Hannah a lot so uh, she's going right up there with you'll end up with fleas so next we have Joanna now Joanna is the Amber and Ashley of high school she likes Lily but she doesn't like Miley she was quite cute I found her quite cute um so for that reason she is getting promoted one to Miley is like a Puma. but I do like the fact that she had her hair shaved off they bet on a game in school and she lost so she had her hair shaved off so I quite like that that amused me two left so yeah next we have Saint Sarah now Sarah is a rock star 100% she cares about the environment she's a nice person she'd never bitch about anybody she did like she's the kind of friend that you'd you'd love to have but you'd feel like the bad influenced friend so uh, lastly we have Hannah Montana herself and I hate to end up on a negative note but I'm actually putting her in sweet niblets now don't come for me she writes bangers and I still listen to her songs now because I'm obsessed and I just want to be a child all the time but she's not actually that nice she's quite entitled she's very rude to Jackson I did however feel sorry for her when she forgot her lyric to the song who said <laughs> I just find her more entitled, you know? There's not much more I can say about that. She's cool, sure. That is it, we have ranked our Hannah Montana cast. I think that that is a pretty accurate representation. Let me know in the comments below if you if you feel the same or if you do things differently. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want me to rank any more Disney Channel shows or Nickelodeon shows because Nickelodeon and Disney Channel were the two channels that I watched constantly as a kid. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Baby, this world drives me crazy. I've been running around.